The she is being given the Zechon Nishmas Rechaleya Basav Chaim Tzvi. In this year, we spoke about how throughout Tanakh we encounter the Vie Sheker, the Vie Abal, we encounter all types of talisman, we encounter different types of necromancy and sorcery, and it's really amazing how these phenomena are bound throughout Tanakh and how the entire Goisha world was really incredibly so pervaded by this, by these types of methodologies, by these types of instrumentation, somehow they were looking for all types of ways to connect with some sort of divine source, but all of it was founded upon different types of Sheker. And we saw this in the Nevi'im, we saw this in the Torah, in the major Nevi'im, Yishayo, Yemiyo, Yecheskel, who constantly railed against this, we saw it in the Pesukim of the Torah, in Parshas Re'eh, in Shaftim, in Parshas Mishpatim, of Sefer Shemos, and on and on. And now we're exploring Rabbi Levi's very fascinating and unique and distinctive position where he connects Nevuah to Eretz Yisrael. Eretz Yisrael has certain ethereal qualities. Eretz Yisrael has almost, if you will, a different kind of atmosphere, which is so markedly different than anything else, that because of that, Eretz Yisrael becomes the ideal locus for the Vua. Eretz Yisrael becomes the ideal spot where only there can the Vua actually be chal. And the Kuzari has a theory, which we saw in Maimer Aleph, namely Tzadi K, where he spells out the notion of this Inyan Eloki, some call it the Kach Eloki, some sort of godly spirit, which is B'Mesora, transmitted from generation to generation. To such an extent, the Kuzari understands many of the back and forth, give and take that we describe in the Torah, such as the back and forth between Cain and Hevel, and that between Esau and Yaakov, all relates to Eretz Yisrael. The way the Kuzari interprets, they all were pursuing this particular Maila, this Inyan Eloki, this unique spiritual quality which Hashem is brought only gives to one person each door and each generation. Of course, it was given to Abram, to Yitzhak and Yaakov, and prior to that, Adam Marishon had it, and he calls the group of people who are possessed of this the Bnei Elohim. So we have Adam Marishon, we have Noach, we have Eber, we have the Avos, Hakadoshim. We don't have individuals, for example, like Terach or like Esau. And if you look in the Maimur Aleph, again, in Sib Tzadikei of the Kuzari, he indicates that this was a Masora, a spiritual transmission that went from generation to generation. And it's fascinating the language that he uses. Those that had it have a kind of segula. That's the Russian that he uses. The school of Avram was Yitzchak. The school of Yitzchak was Yaakov. And those who didn't have it, he calls them klipa. He calls them some sort of a shell, which of course is devoid of this inner pneumistic kind of quality. And he goes on to say, Ulam bin Yaakov hayukulam segula. All the Shvatim had this Inyan Eloki, had this Karach Eloki, Ruyim Linyan Eloki, V'lachein Hoyolem HaMokam Ahu, HaMiyuchad B'Yizgalas HaInyan Eloki, L'Nachla. That's why Eretz Yisrael became the Nachla, because Eretz Yisrael is the land that is very matim to Nevoah, to prophecy. And when the Kuzari, the Melech Kuzari, asked the Chaber, what exactly is so unique about Eretz Yisrael? And he writes the following. He tells him, that in terms of the topography or agriculture, that is not the Maila of Eretz Yisrael necessarily over any other area. They may also have a similar topography, a similar agricultural kind of predisposition. But what exactly is the Maila? He says the following. The Maila is the Inyan Eloki. This spiritual force exists, Dafka, in Eretz Yisrael. And he goes on to say, the Chaber, and this is a famous Shita of Rabbi Levi, again underscoring the very unique qualities of Eretz Yisrael. He says the following: Kol Mishin is Nabe Lo Nis Nabi Kim Baaretz Hazol So Baavura. The Gemara already deals with this question. We spoke about it already a number of Shurim ago, namely the notion that Navi Mikirvachem Kamoni Yaki Mechal Hashem Lo Kecha Elot Tishmon, and Chazal indicate 
that this is Dafka in Eretz Yisrael, and the Kuzari indicates this by professing, by stating that whoever was a Navi either was Misnabe in Eretz Yisrael or Ba'avur Eretz Yisrael, relating to Eretz Yisrael, regarding Eretz Yisrael. And he begins by listing for us some of these Nevi'im. Kach zocha Avram l'nevu'a b'shona kashet tzuba l'lechet sal Eretz Yisrael. So Avram Avino a lovely bit of an issue we already pointed out means communication with Hashem is Barach. When Hashem told Avram, by Yom Hashem al Avram, Lech Lecha Me'artzecha, so he was communicating to Avram Avino, thereby Avram Avino is, shall we say, a Navi. But the Nevuah was outside of Eretz Yisrael. The answer is the Nevuah related to Avram Avino to his subsequent coming to Eretz Yisrael, to his subsequent Aliyah. The Yecheskel Daniel. The, the Gemara already asked the question that 